to the video that I am doing in collaboration with Christina in Michigan and she is a keto channel and she does hauls and different things recipes and me and her have decided to do a collaboration video what we did we each sent each other a list of items to pick up at Aldi and to a sort of a challenge to make a keto meal from. So, um, what I'm going to do is read you the keto or the items that she sent me, and then I'll show you what I got, and then um, we'll take it from there. So, first of all, she sent me cooked bacon. This is what I got. And this is the Aldi brand, Appleton Farms Aldi brand cooked bacon. She said, said block cheese. I got this right here, block cheese, cream cheese, cream cheese, rice cauliflower, hold on, be right back. That was the only thing I hadn't got out. Okay, I picked up this rice cauliflower, it is frozen. Okay, um, chicken wings, well, I've got my chick I got frozen chicken wings and I've actually got them thawing here, so I'll probably have to throw them in the microwave before I really get in on the the recipe and then two bags of pork rinds got these bad boys and last but not least fresh mushrooms so these are my items and um, I'll be back to tell you exactly what I'm going to be making with these items okay guys so what I'm planning on making for my dishes um, I'm going to do keto air fryer chicken wings and that's where the pork rinds come in and the chicken wings, I'm going to need three to four large eggs and any spices of my choice. So for my spices, I'm going to do, of course, the Tony Sachery spices. I'm going to do a little bit of onion powder. I'm going to do a little bit of garlic powder. And I'm going to do just regular salt and pepper, pink Himalayan sea salt and pepper. And then for my other dish, I'm going to do cheesy cheddar cauliflower rice. And for that, I'm going to need, of course, the rice cauliflower uh, butter, sea salt, the cream cheese, uh, the cheddar cheese, salt, pepper, and then the crumbled bacon, which I'll warm up and crumble for the top. And then for the mushrooms, I couldn't really figure out what I wanted to do, and then I decided that this mushrooms sauteed up in real butter is the bomb. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for like a side dish. So right now I have the uh, chicken wings defrosting in the microwave. And I'm going to do a little bit of prep work. Um, I'm going to go ahead and crush up my pork rinds, measure some stuff out, and then I'll be right back just to let you see, you know, everything else I do. But first of all, I just want to remind you, my air condition's out. So the fan in the background, hopefully the background noise will not be too much. But I just have to have a little air circulating through here since I'm going to be cooking. So anyway, I'll be back in just a couple of minutes, guys. Okay guys, I'm just going to show you a little bit of the progress I'm making. I'm going to move this down, slide on down. Okay, what I'm doing is pouring my pork rinds, both bags, into a huge zipper seal. I think it's a three gallon bag and it's a Dollar Tree bag, so I'm really hoping that it holds up whenever I start beating the crap out of it. So. Go ahead and get the air out, and then I'm just going to lay it flat, okay? I've got my rolling pin out here, and I'm just going to, I, it said to do them in a food processor. I do not have a food processor, so this is just going to have to do. I'm just going to just keep doing this until they are very fine, and then I'll add whatever seasonings I'm going to add in here, and then mix them up again. I think this will work okay. If this bag holds out, I think this will work okay though. Then what I'm going to do is have me an assembly line. I'm going to um, mix up my eggs, just beat them up, and 
then have this to, I'm just going to do like a shake and bake bag. I'm going to throw the wings in here, shake them all up, and then throw them in the air fryer. I'm going to do two batches of eight, and it takes about 20 minutes a batch. So um, while the, these are cooking, I'll be doing my other two side dishes. But first things first, I'm going to have to get this good to go. I think it's working fine. The bag's holding out so far. Not on wood, I mean, it's not going to really kill anything if they're not super, super, super fine. Okay. Let's try that again. A couple more. Just a couple more. or not, but that's pretty fine, pretty fine. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and add in my seasonings. Okay, this is, this is quite a bit of stuff here. So now it calls for, let me say, let me get my handy dandy paper here. Your favorite spices. Okay, so basically what I said I was going to do, Tony Sachery, I like that. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to eyeball this. It's probably going to be about, I don't know, a teaspoon or two, maybe two teaspoons in here since there's so much, okay? I want it to have some good flavor. I'm going to throw in some pink Himalayan salt. And it's probably going to be about a teaspoon by the time I'm all said and done. Probably about a teaspoon. Okay. Gonna throw in some onion powder. Stuff always kind of sticks, so yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna open the big side here. <coughs> I'm just gonna probably about a teaspoon. Okay. Garlic powder. I'm not going to add quite as much garlic. Open. And just going to probably about half a teaspoon. And some pepper. I like usually using the fresh ground, but um, I need to get me some more pepper corn to pour in my little jar. So I'm just doing, I don't know, that was probably about a quarter of a teaspoon. So what I'm going to do fill that up and just shake it really good and make sure those spices are really incorporated into this season and into these pork rinds. Okay, there's my shaking stuff. So I'm hoping it'll be enough to do 18 or 12, 16 wings. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and break these eggs up in this bowl and get those mixed up. Get my station set up to start dipping. here because that will be the last when I get them out of here I'll put them in here I'll do the dip I'll shake I'll put them in here so go ahead and break my eggs up I don't know why I don't have my Rachel Ray garbage bowl out because if there ever was a time this would be it okay garbage bowl I'm just gonna set that right there in it. Okay. Okay. I've got a small whisk in here. Just gonna long drawer. Just gonna whisk these together. This is actually the whisk that goes to my beater, but it'll work. It will work. My electric mixer, should I say? No. My plug-in handheld mixer. I'm just gonna mix these up real good. Okay, guys. What I'm gonna do is get my wings out. I'm gonna wash them, 
and get them ready for this assembly line, then I'll be right back to let you see from that angle. Okay, guys, I'm back. I've got half of my chicken wings thawed out and washed, and I have them right here in the assembly line. So basically, well, I'm gonna give this just another little tiny mix and then stick it in the sink. This is time to get my hands messy, I reckon. Go ahead and unzip. Maybe give it one more little shake there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and unzip this. And actually, I'm going to try not to get my hands messy. I'm going to do the tongs. I'm going to dip it in the egg. Shake it off. Throw it in here. Roll it around real good. Okay. Throwing it in the air fryer. Yeah, I can do this totally without getting all messy. We're only doing eight at a time, so it works out perfectly. Okay. And I'll have to tell you what I'm sitting my air fryer on because I can't remember. Two. I'll probably speed up this process here just because so you don't have to watch the whole deal. And I probably won't show the eight, the other eight at all, just because you can see the process, and that's really probably all you want to see. Okay, guys, I'm going to just put this to the side. I'm just going to show you what it looks like in the, the pan here or in the air fryer. Okay, got eight of them in here. And so what I'm going to do, go ahead and stick it in the air fryer and plug the air fryer up. Okay, and then it says 390 degrees for 20 minutes. So... Let's see here. I don't know if you can, you can't really see the air fryer. Uh, here we go. So we are going to go on and up. Oh, up for the degree, 390. We're going up to 20 minutes. And boom, there it goes. And then also it says flipping halfway. So what I'm going to do, I have a little timer. Right here, I'm going to set this for 10 minutes, and after 10 minutes, I will be flipping them over. Okay, there's my timer set for 10 minutes. I'm going to just put it over here out of the way. Just going to put the egg wash and stuff out of the way. So, I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm going to go ahead, while the wings are cooking, I'm going to go ahead and get the cheesy cheddar cauliflower rice going. Um, the first thing I need to do, though, is to melt this butter. I've got one tablespoon of butter in this pan, okay? And I'm just going to go ahead and put it, like, on medium-high heat to get that melting. And then in this pan, I've got 
four tablespoons of butter, and this is actually going to be for the mushrooms. So I'm going to go ahead and get that thing off of there because I almost set that on fire. So, <laughs> okay, so once this gets going, got my handy dandy little thing here. So it says in a large pot, melt the butter and then stir in the cauliflower. So I've got my cauliflower here melting the butter and I just want to say I got this recipe from lowcarbdelish.com so if you want to check out this recipe you can go over to lowcarbdelish.com there's so many recipes out there on the internet it's just so hard to, to find one I mean it's easy to find one but it's hard to decide on one because there's so many does that make more sense okay so I have my rice cauliflower so what I'm going to do is just slip this bag open and get it in the pan. Okay. Make sure to get all of it here. Okay. Into the garbage bowl. All right. So it's a little bit half thaw just because it was sitting out for a while. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and add our seasonings in. And it did call for salt and pepper, seasoning salt, a half a teaspoon of seasoning salt. I'm going to eyeball this totally. Just going to go over. I think that'd probably be half a teaspoon. Okay, and salt and pepper. So I'm just going to give it a little salt, give it a little pepper. Okay. Now we're going to brown it up, not really brown it up, we're going to cook it until it starts getting, um, what's the word they used? Opaque, opaque, so a little bit halfway see through. So that's what we're going to do. Slaying it everywhere. Alright, so while this is cooking up, what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn this back eye on as well. And this is going to be what I'm going to saute up the mushrooms in. So I have the mushrooms here, and I'm just going to dump this whole thing in there. Um, I'm not even going to chop them up because they will cook down some, so I don't really need to chop them up. So until everything gets going good here, I'm going to go ahead and put you on pause again. Okay, guys, things are going good here. I um, The butter back here is going good, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and add these mushrooms in here. Okay. I'm going to add a little salt and pepper so they can all maybe a little Cajun, I don't know. A little salt, a little pepper. Okay. I'm going to let them go to town right there and just steer them occasionally. This is going good, but then I do have, I've got my cream cheese measured out back here waiting. Um, but I do have one more thing I need to do. And it's gra uh, grate my cheese. So, got my grater here. And while this is all frying up, I'm just going to go ahead and grate this cheese. It calls for two cups. What I'm going to do is grate this whole thing. I think that should be around two cups grated. Here's my scissors. Okay. Oh. Ah, that means about ten minutes are up, so let me pause that. What I'm going to do is show you how these look. I'm flipping them. Maybe I'll do these a different, hold on, different step. Okay. 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 Okay.
And there's what they look like. They got 10 more minutes. I'm going to stick them right back in there and let them go to town. Okay. Now, before I get a, do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and grab a different spoon. I'm going to go ahead, coat these really good in butter. And just let them be doing their thing. It'll take them a little while. I like for them to get pretty shriveled up and nice and golden brown. So turn that out down just a little. And then we'll go ahead and start grating this cheese. This is one of my least most favorite things to do. That's why I usually buy bag cheese. But Christina said block cheese, so. I had to go with it. That's the rules. I know they have less, less carbs if you um, grate them yourself, right? Less carbs. So that's a good thing. Can't be lazy about it. It's a little bit soft where I had it sitting out, so it's not as easy. That this may be uh, more than two cups. Just looking down in the sink, it's about half full already. It has a thing on the bottom there, so I don't know. judge. That piece trying to fall off, so I'm gonna eat it. the rest of my wings that were done. So I'm just going to 
type this cheese. Pour it right in here. I think I got a piece of the pasta in there. Okay. There we go. That's ready to go in. When it's time. All right, guys. I'm going to pause you again. Be right back. Okay, guys. Um, things are about ready to go ahead and finish the process here. These are opaque and ready to add the cheddar cheese and the cream cheese. I've got about three tablespoons of cream cheese measured out here. Okay. I've got about two cups of cheddar cheese measured out here. And basically this is to turn the heat down and get this all mixed up good until it's nice and melty and combined. And then it said to top with a crumbled bacon. And you can use top, or top it with green onions if you want. So I'm going to get this stirred up. That's my air fryer going off. Calls in a ruckus. I'm going to go ahead and turn this down to about medium low. Get this all stirred up. And then I have that whole package of the bacon, which I'm getting ready to chop up because I'm a little bit extra when it comes to bacon, okay? You just can't, you just can't go wrong with it. So I've heated it in the microwave and I'm just going to chop it up. Not tiny pieces, but not huge either. It's still kind of hot. Hard to hold on to. Okay. After this all gets nice and melty, I'm just going to sprinkle the bacon on top. And that will be done. And as you can see back here, these mushrooms, they've cooked down quite a bit. So that'll be a really good side dish. Just going to let them keep going there for probably until the other batch of wings are done. So I'm going to show you what they look like since the timer went off. Get them all plated up here. Go ahead and lay that there in the towel. Okay. Now. I'm going to go ahead and put these out here. i got a tray here. I'm going to put them on the tray, and then I'll hold the tray up and show you what they look like. They look absolutely amazing. Okay. So here's the finished first eight wings. So what I'm going to do, finish up the rest of... All of this, this has to get mixed up really good and then topped with the bacon. Mushrooms are going to cook until the other wings are done. And then when the other wings are done, I'll be back. I'll plate up some and I'll take a test, taste test for you. So stay tuned. Okay, guys. I know I'm a hot mess because it's a hot mess in here. Okay, there's my timer. My last batch of wings are on, but there's no reason why I can't go ahead and finish this video now. Simply because everything is finished. So, what I'm going to do first is like show you what everything looks like. Okay, here is the sautéed mushrooms and butter. Delicious. I'm going to go ahead and put a spoon of these on my plate. Okay. Next we have the cheddar rice cauliflower bacon mixture. <laughs> Whatever it's called. I took my, my books gone. Hold on, let me tell you. It is cheesy cheddar cauliflower rice. Cheesy cheddar cauliflower rice with bacon on top. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put a little bit of this on my plate. Okay, and yes, I did use all that bacon, like I knew I would. And then the other ones, well, actually I gotta flip them, but the other ones are still in there, but this is the first eight that I made. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple of these on my plate. Okay, I'm gonna grab a fork really fast. Okay guys, 
here's my plate. Let me put this down here. There's my plate. Looks delicious. I'm sure it's going to be. Those wings right there look beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to taste test everything just because. There's a mushroom. Mmm. Oh yeah. That's delicious. Okay. Next, the cauliflower rice. It's probably going to be hot. Mm. Oh man. This stuff is delicious. Really, really good. And then I'm just going to be all crazy and just grab a bite of this wing. Mm. I knew that was going to be good. Oh yeah. I love that crunch on there. Can you see that crunch on there? That is delicious. This whole meal is delicious. So, don't forget, Christina in Michigan is doing the list that I sent her. And I'm, I'm excited to see what she's going to do. I'm going to link her video down below. So, don't forget to go subscribe to her. And thank you guys for watching. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you've ever made any of this and if you plan on making any of this. And give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much, guys.